Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Al-Karti. Today I will, be, I will give you a short presentation on the uh, topic of um, ocean and the law of seas. Uh, before I before I go into this uh, topic, I would like to mention the um, topic that I have completed so far under the uh, uh, global issues or the um, international affairs. I was talking. I, wa I was talking to you about the um, Africa and the challenge that uh, facing Africa, uh, such as hunger, uh, um, sh uh, food shortage, uh, poverty, climate change, and so on. I talked to you about the agent and how the, uh, the, uh, the world population are getting older, uh, not just in one or two countries, but the, um, almost every state experience this problem so the um, international community or the uh, united Nations has to step in to address this problem for the um, future because it's going to be a huge a uh, social economic uh, problems um, also i did talk about the aids and hiv and how i, I have mentioned how the um, international community have a um, have made a great Process, uh, progress in this um, or achievement in this, uh, even though there is many people are getting infected, uh, many people are getting infected around the world every day or every minute. Also, I talked to you about the uh, children's rights. So, um, according to the law, children have rights, such as um, they have to have uh, health, peace, and a clean environment. And the um, and the community shouldn't, or the society shouldn't deny the um, right of children, especially when there is a armed um, conflict or something like that. I spoke to the food and how the um, there is many people are dying because there is uh, they don't have enough food to eat, while there is many people are dying because are obese or overweight. Um, also, I spoke about the, in terms of food, there is an um, unbalance around food. There is enough food for in the world to feed everyone, but there is unbalance because there is a lot of food in some area, but there is nothing in the other areas. Human rights and how important to respect human rights and how and everybody deserves a human rights as a human being everywhere around the world and human, uh, a human being should uh, treat them uh, with respect and dignity. I spoke to you about the peace and security and how very extremely important we have to have a peace and security because without peace and security there is no development. Population, you know, the, um, how the, uh, the, the world is getting populated. Water, very important, clean, fresh water and sanitation. Health, how we have many, many diseases and every day we have um, new disease and infection such as Zika virus and Ebola in West Africa. I spoke to you about refugees and big data of uh, sustainable development goals. And I spoke to you about climate change, international law and justice, democracy, atomic energy, and decolonization. And today I will be talking to you about the um, ocean and the law of the sea. In this topic, I have divided this um, this topic into a uh, few sections. The first section is going to be about introduction. We'll give you a, a brief information about the um, what is the um, uh, ocean and the law of the sea. Uh, then I will talk to you about the uh, freedom of sea. Later on, I will be talking to you about United Nations Law of the Sea Convention, UNCLSO, or S, sorry. After that, it will be followed by the uh, protection of marine or the sea environment and biodiversity, biodiversity, biodiversity. And after that, uh, I will be talking to you about, uh, I will mention marine shipping and pollution, polar code piracy. And last one, I have placed some resource about uh, in terms of ocean and and the law of the sea. All right, introduction, the first slide, let's get started. It says here, yeah, life itself arose from the oceans. The ocean is vast, covering 140 million square miles, 
some 72% of the uh, Earth's surface. Not only has the ocean always been a prime source of uh, nourishum, nourishment or food for the life, it helped uh, generate, but uh, from earliest uh, record history, it has served for trade and commerce, adventure and discovery. It has kept people apart and brought them together. Even now, when the uh, uh, content have been uh, mapped, come from world map, the map, their interior made accessible by road, river, and air. Most of the world's people live not more than 200 miles from the sea and related and relate closely to it. Freedom of the sea. The ocean had long been subject to the uh, freedom of this sea. Uh, doctrine, a principle put further forth in the 17th of 17th century, essentially limiting uh, national rights and jurisdiction over the uh, ocean to a narrow belt of sea surrounding a uh, nation's uh, coastline. The remainder of the sea was proclaimed to be free to all and uh, belonging to none. While this situation uh, prevailed into the uh, uh, 20th, 20th century, by mid century there was a, an, an impetus to extend national claim over, over shore uh, rescues. United Nations Law of the Sea Convention UNCLOS. The United Nations has long uh, been at the front, at the forefront of the uh, uh, effort to ensure the uh, peaceful, cooperative, legal, legally, legally defined use of the sea and ocean for the individuals and common benefit of uh, humankind. Agent call for the, uh, an effective international regime over the um, seabed and the uh, ocean floor beyond a clear defined national jurisdiction set in motion a process that spanned 15 years and so that the uh, creation of the United Nations said the seabed committee the uh, Signing of the uh, treaty banning, uh, banning, you know, the ban come from ban nuclear weapon, uh, weapon on the um, uh, seabed. The adoption of the uh, declaration by the General Assembly that all resource of the uh, seabed beyond the uh, limits of uh, national jurisdiction are the uh, common heritage of mankind and the uh, covering of Stockholm, you know, the city. Conference on the uh, Human Environment. United Nations Law of the Sea Convention, UNCLOS. The United Nations ground breaking work in a, adopting the 1982 Law of the Sea Convention stand as a defining uh, moment in the ex extension of international law to the vast shared water uh, resource of our planet. The convention has resolved a number of important issues related to ocean usage and sovereignty such as established freedom of navigation right, set uh, territorial sea boundaries 12 miles offshore, set exclusive economic zone up to 200 miles offshore, set role for a extending uh, continental shelf, shelf right up to 350 miles offshore, created the uh, International Seabed Authority, created 
uh, other co uh, conflict resolution uh, mechanism. Example, the United Nations Commission on the uh, limit limits of the uh, content shelf. Protection of uh, marine environment and biodiversity. Biodiversity through the United Nations Environment Program (UNEP), particularly through it is um, uh, regional sea programs, acts to protect ocean and sea and pro uh, prompt the environmentally sound use of marine resource. The Regional Sea Convention. An action plan is the world's only legal framework for protecting the ocean and sea at the uh, uh, regional levels. United Nations UNEP also created the um, uh, global uh, program of action for the uh, protection of the marine environment from land-based activities. It is the only global inter intergovernmental mechanism directly addressing the uh, the uh, connectively connected connectivity between a tourist terrestrial terrestrial freshwater coastal and marine ecosystem protecting protection of marine environment and biodiversity the United Nations Education, Science and Culture Organization UNESCO through its intergovernmental uh, uh, ocean graphic commission coordinate program in marine research obse observation system hazards um, uh, hazard, hazard mitigation and beta managed ocean and coastal area the International Maritime Organization (IMO) is the key United Nations in institution for the development development of international maritime law. It is main role to create regulatory framework for the um, uh, shipping industry that is fair and effective, universal adopted and universally implemented marine shipping and pollution to ensure that shipping is clean and greener IMO has adopted a resolution or regulation to address the um, emission of air polluted from ships and has adopted the mand mand mandatory energy efficiency measures to reduce em um, emotions of greenhouse gases from international shipping. This includes the landmark international convention for the uh, prevention of pollution from ship of 1973 uh, as modified by 1978 protocol MARPOL and the 1954 International Convention for the uh, Prevention of Pollution of the Sea by Oil. Polar Code and Piracy Polar Code in, 19, in 2014, important regulatory uh, development in the field of uh, transport and trade uh, facilitation include the uh, adoption of International Code for Shipping Operation in Polar water, polar po code, expected to enter into force on the uh, first and uh, the first of January, 2017. Already entered, we are in 2018, as well as the range of reg uh, regulatory development relate relating to the um, multi multi times and supply chain security and environment environmental issue. Piracy. In recent year, in recent years, that um, there has been a um, assuring in the piracy of the uh, coast of Somalia and in the uh, Gulf of Guinea. Act of piracy threatening uh, multi maritime security by um, 
endangering in particular the welfare of safe sea fare and the security of uh, navigation and uh, commerce the criminal act may result in the loss of life physical harm or hostage taking of sea fares significant distribution to uh, commerce and navigation financial loss to ship owner increase insurance premiums and security cost increased cost to um, uh, consumer and you know procedure and damage to the marine environment pirate attacks can have widespread ramification ramification including uh, preventing humanitarian assistance and increasing the cost of future shipping to the um, effective areas the IMO and the United Nations has adopted additional resolution to complement the result in the law of the sea convention for dealing with piracy thank you we came to the end of this topic uh, ocean and the law of the sea so I'll be talking to you sometime very soon thank you so much for listening and bye for now